Hey Virgo, hope you guys are all doing really well. This is going to be your general love reading for the first half of February 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed, regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else, because the reading is general. All right, so let's see, Virgo, what is going on with you? First half of February for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Queen of Wands crossed by the Devil. Okay, so that's Capricorn energy as well showing up here. Um, I feel like, you know, there's, there's definitely a situation here where there's a lot of desire, there's a lot of passion between you and another person. But there's also something that is toxic about this. Um, and it could just be, you know, like um, something like an addiction, for example. Like maybe there is or maybe there's um, a situation here where there's a lot of fear. But something is definitely serving as, as a barrier to this connection. It, it also feels like um, it could be that there's a lot of lust. Um, maybe even obsession from one side. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see the recent past. We have the page of pentacles. Okay, so it feels like things were pretty stable at the start or it felt like things were moving in a, in a pretty healthy way, but something, something here. There's, I see it more as it being some kind of a fear that has been created, but it definitely could be any of the other things I mentioned. Let's see, for you, we have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Swords. Ooh, okay. So you're trying to detach yourself from this. You're trying to move away from this connection. This could even be that this connection is just very, very tempting, but you know that there's something about it at the moment that's not very healthy, and that could be why you're trying to move away from it. Um, it could be that you feel like you have been betrayed We'll see. Don't know what's going on for you here, Virgo. Um, just yet, at least. For the other person, we have death as well as the King of Cups. So some kind of a major transformation or, um, or an ending that they're dealing with here. But whatever this is, and I do feel like it has to do with your situation, right? Because it's like you're moving away from this. They're feeling an ending, but they're also feeling a lot of emotions and a lot of love. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. The tower. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really surprised. I feel like there's something major that is happening for you um, during this time here. So yeah, I mean, with the tower, that's definitely things just really, you know, reaching that peak where something's gonna give with this situation. It's going to create a tower. Um, the message for you here, we have the moon, which is Pisces energy. So I see this as being um, a message for you to follow your intuition, basically. But let's see. Let's clarify. All right, so let's start with that Queen of Wands with the Devil. Let's see, what is that about? This could even be another person that is involved here in this situation, for some of you at least. All right, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, um, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Whatever, okay, so it's not being very specific as to what this devil's energy actually is, and I bet that's because it's going to be different for for each of you if this is resonating. Um, but it feels like there's definitely like this need for moderation. To keep things in balance. And that's why, I, you know, that's why I'm saying like if it's an addiction, it's like there's this difficulty when it comes to really... Um, gaining control over that and, and keeping it keeping whatever it is in moderation if it's i mean it could be the same if it comes to a um 
a tempting, a very tempting situation. So it could just be that you feel very tempted, if this is you, um, to interact in this situation, because with the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, I mean, I do see that there is this, there are feelings here, number one. Number two, it's like, yes, you know, it's like you're, there is this desire to work together with this person, possibly to even assist them if it's the other person. Because I, I do feel like it's the other person. I don't know. Could be you. Could be the other way around. Um, but definitely there's this essence of either wanting to assist or wanting to interact because there's emotions here. But trying to find that balance, trying to find that, like to moderate yourself to not give in to temptation. Something along those lines. All right. Um, and it could even be, all of this could, could be the other person, okay? Just take the messages as they resonate for you. Let's see the Page of Pentacles for the recent past. Yeah, we have the Six of Wands. I feel like there was definitely some success in the recent past. Like, whatever this is, it could have been something that, um, is repeating itself now, like it could have happened again in the past or was present in the past for some of you, and it feels like, yeah, there was some kind of victory over this. Everything was moving along in a very positive direction, but it feels like, obviously, you know, um, whatever that is, it's come back. Possibly in a different form. Let's see, let's see the Eight of Cups for you. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from something that you feel like you really wanted, but again, I mean, with the, because we have the Devil here, Temperance, and now the Nine of Cups. Um, I feel like it was, you know, something that you also know there was, there was something excessive to this. That's what it feels like. Um, something excessive and now walking away from this, it is giving you a sense of loss. Like you're not happily walking away, but it's not making you feel very great, but you're still doing it. Let's see the Five of Swords. Right, the Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you, you either feel, if this, if this is the other person who is involving themselves in something that is not healthy, you, you feel betrayed by them. And it almost feels like, you know, you've been waiting, waiting for nothing. You've been waiting for nothing, almost feels like, you know, you were... You, almost like you, you didn't see it coming, but maybe like you kind of knew. It, it's giving me that kind of a feeling. Um, however, if this is you, that was if... <clears throat> who's trying to avoid um, something here that's not healthy? It could be that you almost feel like you're betraying yourself in some way, in some weird way. It's not really clear. Either way, I do see you detaching yourself from whatever it is that wasn't healthy for you. And for some of you, I mean, it could actually go both ways. It could be that there is a person you, that is tempting for you to interact with, but this person also has something else that is toxic. And that's why you're you're moving away. So it could, it could definitely be both. Feels feels a little complicated, <laughs> Virgo. If this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments what's going on here. Um, all right, let's move on to them. Let's see. Let's see death. All right, strength. The page of swords and the knight of cups.
Okay, so whatever this ending is for this person, um, it's, it's requiring a lot of strength for them to get through it. There's still this, um, there's this urge though for them to move towards whatever, whatever it is that has ended, that's for sure. Almost like keeping an eye on it, so, <clears throat> and I don't know, I don't know what that is, I'm not really sure if it's referring to the connection with you or to something else. But there is some kind of an ending that they are processing at the moment which is definitely not easy for them. It's re again, it's requiring a lot of courage and a lot of strength for them to actually um, deal with it. But again, they're, they're wanting to move towards, towards whatever that is. If that's you, they're wanting to move towards you. Definitely keeping an eye on you, um, but still, still processing the ending though. Uh, let's see the King of Cups. they're definitely feeling a lot here. The world, the queen of cups, and the nine of swords. All right, um, a lot of cups here plus death, all right, which is Scorpio energy. So it, it does um, feel like for a lot of you, this might be a water sign that you're dealing with. We also have Leo showing up. Um, I think I called out the other signs that I saw. Yeah. Um, yeah, this person is definitely feeling a lot of emotions at the moment. Um, A lot of emotions. There's a lot of love here, and it's it's really um, taking a toll on them. I feel like even on their mental health. There's a cycle that's closing out for them. And whatever that is, because I, I don't know if this is the cycle with you necessarily. I feel like it might be something else. Um, whatever that cycle is that's closing out for them. It's based on their intuition. I mean, we have the King of Cups and then we have the Queen of Cups. It's based on their intuition and definitely coming from a place of, of love. Like it's coming from a very good place. I actually feel like this world um, is representing that devil if that devil um, is referring to them. Because I, I do see it that way something here, whatever it is that is toxic, it's, it's closing out, but it's still creating a lot of stress. It's not, it's definitely not easy. As I said, I mean, even here with this ending, like I said, it's taking a lot of courage for them to, to move through it. Let's see, let's see that tower. Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. All right, so Gemini also making an appearance here. Um, wow, whatever that is, something is really coming to an end. Like, no joke. I see more of an ending on their side than I do on your side. For, for you, I just, I mostly see you detaching at the moment. I mean, it could definitely be you putting an end to this. Um, you would know, but I'm definitely seeing an ending though on their side. An ending of something that was toxic or not good for them, unhealthy, whether that be a fear, an addiction, a third party, I don't know. Um, what I do know is that it's a struggle and that this person does have a lot of emotions for, the, for you and for the connection that the two of you share. Um, whatever's happening here, it's, it's, it hasn't peaked yet. I feel like that peak is, it's approaching here and it's, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And this peak is actually, um, concerning the connection with you. It's like, there's, if it hasn't ended yet, I feel like 
something is coming up that's it's going to feel like an ending, whether it is or whether it isn't. Because then, I mean, for the message for you, we have the moon. Um, again, another water sign. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with the water sign. Um, but my point is, is that with the moon here being as the message, I feel like things are still kind of like up in the air. Like it's not clear whether the connection between the two of you is 100% done. I don't really feel like it is, to be honest. But I definitely feel like something, there's some kind of a cycle that is done. Not yet though, it's coming up. And there's going to be um, a lot of pain attached to that, but also to the connection between the two of you. Because I feel like it's going to feel like the connection between the two of you is done, whether it is or isn't. But we have that three of wands like right there in the middle, see? So it's like it's not a clear ending. It's... Um, something's blowing up and then it's like it's like waiting to see what is actually what actually what the actual consequence is going to be concerning this connection because the love is there the love is there ah. let's see that moon The Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. Well, the Emperor is the Emperor is somebody who is definitely in control, right? They don't need to, to moderate themselves. They don't need to um, refrain from um, something. Okay, so I see that actually. It's in the potential here to clear up. And then with the Ten of Pentacles, there's definitely a potential here for, for a commitment that's, that's long term. Again, I feel like the message for you though is to really follow your intuition. Trust your intuition at what it is that you need to do now. Don't worry so much about what might happen next or what is coming up in the future. Because certain things are not meant to be known just yet. But what Spirit is telling you here is that there is an Emperor here. There is an Emperor here um, that is showing up for you with a long-term commitment. May or may not be this person. I don't know. But it just doesn't feel like it's 100% done yet between the two of you. Something is still... Something is still hanging here, but... Yeah, I guess you'll find out. All right. After that tower, at least, like, that tower needs to happen first. All right, Virgo. A uh, complicated reading. Well, let's see. Final message for you, if this resonated. All right, and we have two. Number 24, parad paradisiacal. You belong to paradise. And number 33, translucence, love the darkness. Yeah, okay, so interesting messages. Take these as they resonate with love the darkness. I mean, to me, this is all about, it's reminding me of the moon. You know, certain things we're not meant to know. So love the darkness as in, you know, love the mystery of it, which is easier said than done. But being okay with the dark, with not knowing is basically what I'm getting with this. So Virgo, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.